Okay, so in this video, we're going to be working out a x value, and it's for a triangle distribution. And I know it's a triangle distribution because in my question it says the distribution of shot prop throws are between one meter and ten meters, and the most likely being two meters. So that's what tells me that's a triangle distribution. So if I think about my triangle distribution, there's my one meter, there's my two meters and there's my 10 meters, and that's how I end up with my triangle. And it tells me the top 5%, so the top 5% will be over here, and that's the number I don't know. So I need to work out that number. So because this is a continuous distribution, the area equals the probability. So, I need to be able to work out the area of that triangle. And therefore, I need to be able to work out the height of that triangle. Now, you can do this a number of different ways. But the most easy way, and I've got it already set up here, is the distribution they give to you on the formula sheet. So, here is the information about my triangle distribution. And because the value I'm trying to find is over here, it's on the left, right-hand side of my mode, I need to be using the formula that's on the right hand side of the mode, which is this one. So that's the dish formula that I'm going to use. So I'm going to say that the height equals two lots of B minus X over B minus A times B minus C, where in my distribution A equals 1, B equals 10, C equals 2, because my mode goes in the middle. So therefore the height is 2 lots of 10 minus X over 10 minus 1 times 10 minus 2. Now, bizarrely, I'm not going to do anything more with that at the moment. Okay, I'm just going to leave that as is. Because now I need to start working out the area of my triangle. So I need to know the distance for my base. And my base is the 10 minus x. So therefore, the area of my triangle is a half base times height. Well, the half is going to stay. The base is 10 minus x. And just because I'm being careful, I'm going to put that in brackets. And then I've got my height, which is 2 lots of 10 minus x over 10 minus 1 times 10 minus 2. Now, I know that area is 5%. So that's 0.05. Now let's look through. I've got a half here, and then I'm timesing by 2. So therefore, those bits are going to cancel out. On the top, I've got 10 minus x times 10 minus x. That's going to give me a quadratic. So I know where I'm heading with this. And on the bottom, I've got two numbers which is 9 times 8. 9 times 8 is 72. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those over and I'm going to go 0 0.5 times 72, which gets me 3.6. And over here, I've got 10 times 10, which is 100, minus 10 times x, minus 10 times x plus x squared. Now that's a quadratic equation. So I've got minus 20x. I've got an x squared. And then I've got 100 minus 3.6. So 100 minus 3.6 is 96.4 equals zero.
So that's my quadratic equation. Now I'm unlikely to be able to solve that using uh, factorized because of the numbers, the 94 points or 96.4 is not going to factorize very easily. So I'm going to use my graphics calculator and I'm going to go menu. I'm going to go equation, which is on the second row number eight on the latest version of the graphics calculator. I'm going to press polynomial, which is on F2. I'm going to tell it I want to do degree two, which is on F1. And then it gives me a space for me typing in the equations. So I'm typing in the coefficients. So I've got 1x squared minus 20x plus 96.4. So that's 1 minus 20 and 96.4. And when I click solve, it's going to give me two values because it's a quadratic. So my two values are x equals 11.8, 11.90 to 2dp, or the second value is 8.10 to 2dp. Now, because my triangle distribution is between 1 and 11, it cannot possibly be 11.9 meters so my distance will be 8.10 meters will get you into Auckland Japs. I hope you followed all that and uh, good luck with everything you're doing. Cheers!